Hello, and welcome to the Super Data Science YouTube channel. My name's David, and today we're going to be looking at the Zoo Package. The Zoo Package does a lot of great things, but the thing we're going to be looking at today is rolling averages and other types of rolling functions. And this is used to smooth the data. So first of all, we'll load the package. Then we're going to be using the Notum dataset, which is one of the preloaded datasets in R and it's the average temperatures for Nottingham by month across a number of years. So here we can see that we have by year, by month, our temperature observations. So now if we plot our data set, so we'll plot Nottingham and we'll set the Y limit to be between 30 and 70. Now here we can see that it's quite difficult to tell which years are the hottest because there's so much seasonality. So what we'd like to do is smooth our plot so that we can see which years are the warmest. So we'll do not and smooth and we're going to be doing the mean equals roll mean and this is from the zoo package and it's we're going to roll bottom and k is 12 which is the width of our rolling average and that's because we want to do a rolling average by year we need to fill na so that's because the first 11 observations won't be able to be filled by a 12 month rolling average because there aren't 12 previous months and we need to align right. And this is because we want our average to be using the 11 previous observations, not the next previous, which would be aligned left, or the, or the ones before and after, which would be aligned center. So now let's plot that again, but make it not a smooth mean. And again, we'll set the Y limits equal to 30 and 70. Now we can see it's much smoother the line and we can see which years were hotter so in this period here and in these periods we can see that we had hotter years. Now there are a bunch of other functions that come with zoo so we'll have a quick look at those. We've got the rolling max which works in exactly the same way so we'll just change this to roll max and plot that one. So here we can see we've got our maximum temperature and we've got these flat lines because it's the same month which is the maximum on a rolling basis for a couple of months. Now we've also got the rolling median. Now as it's the median we have to remember that we need an odd number, so k has to change to something odd, so we'll change it to 13. And I'll change this to median. And then we have this much smoother plot where we can tell much more about our data. Now there isn't a rolling min, but what we can do is use the roll apply function to create a rolling min. So instead of roll max, we have roll apply, and we can use this then to create any function. So we'll just use minimum this time. And now if we plot our rolling min, we can see that it's much lower. I hope this has been a, use a useful video. If it has, don't forget to share and like it and subscribe to the channel.